In the morning when I wake And the sun is coming through Kayla Lowry just made an announcement that's twice as nice. Nearly a month after the Teen Mom 2 alum welcomed twins with boyfriend Elijah Scott, she's finally revealing their names. Posting a cute video to her IG February 9th, the now mom of seven shares she's named her son Verse and daughter Valley. Up until now, Kaylin has been referring to her newborns as Baby A and Baby B. This sweet video shows the 31-year-old holding and kissing the twins before giving a quick tour of their nursery, which features custom blankets with their names on them. Kaylin captions the post, complete, whole, everybody's here. Just last month, the podcast host, who's already mom to sons Isaac 14 with ex Joe Rivera, Lincoln 10 with ex Javi Marroquin, Lux 6 and Creed 3 with ex Chris Lopez and baby Rio with Elijah, shared that her newborn twins spent weeks in the neonatal intensive care unit after being born prematurely, opening up about the trying time on her barely famous podcast. They weren't just there for a couple days. Like we, we went through the journey for weeks and you know, I learned so much about the families in, you know, that are in the NICU. Some of them are there for months and months. The MTV alum tearfully explained that one of her biggest challenges during the twins NICU stay was wondering if the differences she observed between her two babies was normal. I wanted to know if what I was seeing was normal. Like you're not, I had never seen a baby in my life not wake up to eat or like, want or or show signs of hunger like she would just sleep through feeding she'd never have any feeding cues and then when she when i tried to feed her she would not take a bottle and that was really difficult because i'm looking at him you know and i'm seeing you know he's in the nicu for some of the same reasons but also he's taking a bottle he's not having an issue with that the pennsylvania native was candid about her fear of welcoming the twins via c-section but admits that her time in the NICU ended up being much scarier. It was just, oh, oh, I cried a lot, didn't I? I think I probably cried more for the NICU journey than, than the C-section stuff. She then shared that after some time, her and Elijah were finally able to bring both of the twins home and work on getting them bonded with their older brothers. Rio meeting the twins specifically baby a for the first time was the cutest thing i've ever seen in my entire life oh to this day oh he loves those babies he thinks he's a twin he thinks he's a triplet yeah he, he burps them he tries to he has been so sweet with those twins and it's literally the cutest thing and truly lux and creed have really been good too and despite the heart-wrenching experience, Kaylin shared everything's good now with her family being complete. And she's just grateful that Verse and Valley are both happy and healthy. But I'm just so thankful. I feel grateful. I feel fulfilled. I feel thankful. Did I say thankful already? Yes. Grateful, thankful, fulfilled, happy, complete. Um, we're putting an addition on our house because of this. <laughs> like, um, You know, yeah. I, but I feel so blessed. Like, I don't have... And there truly are good babies. Like, despite the emotional journey that is the NICU, they're very good babies.